Hello and welcome to Thomas's Tarot Page with myself, Thomas Janak. My guest this month is Charlie Evans. Hello. And we are looking into the um, into the sign of Libra. Now, Libras, you are governed by the seventh house. We are in the seventh month, and. Libra is a sign that looks for harmony, that looks for balance, and seven is the number of, of sevenfold protection, is the number of highest protection. Because there are so many sevens uh, in that month alone, energetically speaking, this will be a month for you where you can take risks because safety, so to speak, is on your side. Right? So energetically speaking, July is an awesome month for Libras, just energetically, because again, um, the number seven is so important. There's also uh, the uh, Archangel Michael squid, um, which talks about seven for protection, is oftentimes used in Reiki, and you can just Google it. I do it very quickly for you. If you ever feel like you need a bit of protection because you're Libra and you are governed by the seventh house, um, seven, anything with seven, makes a lot more sense to Libra than it does to many other signs. So here's how this goes. You just call in Archangel Michael and you ask him, I ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below and in the center. I ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below and in the center. You say that seven times, you say your thank yous and that is then how it will be. Right? So you can say, thank you, God, Goddess, and so it is, which is how this um, uh, Archangel Michael thing ends, if that makes sense. But this is for you, just, until, just for you to remember that because number seven is really, really important for Librans, um, having a sevenfold protection is bloody awesome. Now we're looking at the open energy now, uh, before we then go into the um, emotional core, see what can go, see what comes in, maybe the stuff that can go that no longer serves you. Maybe love is coming in, that sort of thing. Um, and then we look at opportunities, and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. With no further ado, let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of July for the sign of Libra. Uh, yeah, so Lady Venus is your card for your overall energy this month. Um, so this month, the guides are going to send you or are going to show a sign or they're going to bring something to you that's going to bring out a truth uh, it just means that it's a time for you it's a learning curve or there's something that needs to be revealed that will help you or lead to a bigger journey so just make sure that you're listening out and looking out for those signs coming your way but it's also really nice it's a time where the guides are intervening for good for you so they're around you. In fact, Thomas was talking about Archangel Michael. That's really good that the guides will work with you this month. So just make sure that you're keeping out for them, thanking them for their help and for being there for you. So really connect with them. And Venus, um, as we know, a lot love. So just make sure that you connect with the people you love, um, but also look out, uh, look out for that truth with the people you love as well. Thank you so much. And it continues in that vein because you have the tree of life when it comes to your emotional core. Let me just show you the tree of life. And the tree of life is, for the most part, a construct, right? It, it, it is featured in many, many healing modalities, if that makes sense. And a lot of people have, have different opinions about it. The tree of life, simply put, is about reminding you that you have a purpose and that you have many purposes uh, when you go through all these lives, the tree of life has all these leaves, all these leaves represent your, your different um, lives, represent your different uh, traits, character traits, imprints, that kind of stuff. And because you have the tree of life, it's understanding that conceptually you know everything. Now that is, sounds a bit big, <laughs> but what the guides are saying is, remember they said to you that this is um, the seventh month, you are a seven being, if that makes sense. Seven son of a seven son, yeah. Bit of metal, that seven son of a seven son. Eventually, they're going to, um, you know, blur that out because uh, once they realize what I'm thinking, right? <laughs> Luckily, I think always of key because I can't bloody think, right? And also with a German accent, 
I'm always I'm always really good at, at not being caught right by just you think so that's copyrighted you get in trouble anyway you are you are the seven if that makes sense and and when it comes to the topic of conception what they're saying to you is if you could just understand how awesome you could be if you allowed yourself to feel awesome and say I'm awesome without ego if that makes sense if you could just understand yes I'm Libra see Libra looks for harmony Libra looks for 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 love if that makes sense and for for non-issues when other star signs oftentimes do not so all star signs uh, sorry all planets that are governing star signs when you see these planets they actually go clockwise the only planet that doesn't go clockwise is the planet that governs Libra, which is Venus, right? And Venus turns anti-clockwise because when you put anti-clockwise, you take out shit that you no longer need. Maybe it was the other way around. I think I think everybody else goes anti-clockwise and you go clockwise, you put harmony in. Either way, don't mind me. The point is that you're the only one that is different. And while other people... Um, let go of stuff you don't want any arguments you just want to put harmony in which is why it's so difficult for Librans at times to actually sort stuff and speak up if that makes sense but you have the tree of life um, and then you had the lady Venus earlier and Venus is your governing planet which means all the strengths that you possibly need to actually make and bring about changes are coming and emotionally because that's the area we're looking at it's just about understanding that if you want things in life you have to claim them okie dokie and now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you for the month of July 2022 for the sign of the old-fashioned scale Libra uh, so we've got the platypus so the message of the platypus is stop complaining um, and moaning and appreciate the blessings in your life so we've all got bills, we've all got things that we don't want to pay, but we need to. Life's unfair sometimes, we do have to pay more than we should for things. But it's time to not complain about them and just appreciate what you've got. Uh, I know we've got money going out, but money isn't everything. You've got, you've got people around you that love you, you've got a roof over your head, you're safe and secure, so just make sure that you appreciate that. and. Um, if you're complaining about wages at work, just appreciate that you've got a job and there's people lesser off than you. Um, so yeah, just bring that harmony in and say, look, although money's going out and I feel really stretched, I've got good things that I can bring out and I'm really blessed in other ways. So just make sure that you're focusing on that this month. Yeah, and when you do focus on it, because obviously we're talking about your opportunities here, in order for you to actually see opportunities, you have to first allow yourself to feel, okay, I'm not doing so badly because it is about energy. If you already feel everything is negative, how can opportunities find you, right? So, Libra, that's all we got time for. Thank you, Charlie, so much for this. Thank and you. Um, if you subscribe, you actually um, then will be notified when the next videos are out. And if you feel, right, money is tight, why not spend the fiber? You can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. And I will have that coffee and think of you. That was just me being cheeky, but I would love for you to support the channel. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you.